Hi, my name is Alexi. I'm from RMI and I'm uh, speaking to John Harmon from Saras Power uh, today. Uh, John, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and uh, please uh, uh, say a few words about uh, yourself and uh, what, what, brought, uh, what brought you here to the uh, World uh, Electrolysis uh, Congress. Sure. Uh, thank you, Alessi. Um, so, yes, I'm John Harmon. I'm from Ceres. Uh, we're based in, uh, in the UK. Uh, we're a solid oxide uh, cell technology company. Uh, we've been maturing our, our cell technology for the uh, last 20 years, really. Um, mainly working in fuel cells uh, originally. And we've brought this to commercial uh, realization now. We're, we're, we were a licensing company, so we've been licensing that technology uh, to strategic partners, both to use the technology in their products, but also for manufacturers as well. Um, but over the last four years, uh, we've set up a, a electrolysis uh, program within the business to um, you know, use our technology in, in electrolysis mode. Um, so we've been testing our, our, te our base technology in that, in that mode uh, over the last four years or so, and we've been seeing a real opportunity now uh, to get into green hydrogen and use our technology for that, for that benefit. So, sounds exciting, John, and could you say a bit more about how big is the opportunity uh, when it comes to green hydrogen and electrolysis and, uh, and perhaps a few words about the challenges that you see in the market as well. They go probably hand in hand with opportunities. Yes, of course. So I think the, the biggest opportunity for our particular technology is uh, decarbonization of hard to abate industrial sectors, really. So, so I think solid oxide technology fits really well with um, uh, um, production of green steel, decarbonization of ammonia and fertilizer production, industrial chemicals. I think where you've got end users who have uh, a need for a really high efficiency conversion of hydrogen, um, but also where they have some low-grade uh, heat available, um, you can get some really, really high efficiencies of, um, of conversion and, um, and low costs of, of, of hydrogen uh, in that regard. So, so I think our, our technology fits really well in those kind of industrial sectors, uh, to be honest. I think, yeah, the challenges I think we've, we've heard today, really, it's the, it's the scale-up. There's a huge opportunity, there's a huge demand out there, um, it's just really getting the getting the capacity, um, and I, I think our licensing model works well. So I, I think that's an enabler in a, in a way because we don't have to scale our business that quickly. We can partner with some of the world's most uh, you know progressive companies who are get, getting into that space or want to pivot their business to get into electrolyzer production. And, um, and partner with them to scale our business really quickly. Um, but I think, you know, getting the rest of the supply chain together, get, getting um, power electronics companies and compression companies all aligned and together to meet the needs, the future demands is, is really where the challenges lie. Yeah, for sure. A lot of uh, heavy lifting will be required in the harder to abate uh, sectors and a lot of alignment, as, as you said, John. So my last question for you would be about the, the event itself, the uh, World uh, Electrolysis uh, Congress. How do you find the event and what's, what's, uh, what's the value of this event for you? Well, um, it's just so nice to come out of my office, actually. <laughs> I mean, as I say, we've, we've, we've been moving into this space over the last four years, completely over the pandemic's time, right? So a lot of our conferences, a lot of the discussions have all been online. Um, and it's just so refreshing to, you know, just today to, to listen to all the speakers, listen to the debate, meet people in the, in the space, meet, you know, who we're working with, our colleagues, other, other technology developers, uh, system integrators, policy makers. It's just really refreshing, I think. So, so yeah, just spending a couple of days, just getting to know people again, reconnecting, uh, feeling what the challenges are, and and, and 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 yeah, I think that's been really positive for us, and we're, it's a pleasure to be here, actually. Yeah. Well, it was great uh, meeting you here, John, and uh, I'm looking forward to meet you again next year, hopefully. I'm sure we'll be here. Thank you.